Hi, so Stanley here and welcome back to my video. And in this video, I'm gonna unbox this magnificent power bank, which is called a rigid power bank, or in Chinese means Yuan, which basically means the word on top right here is 20,000 milliampere hour. The rated capacity is 12,400 milliampere hour at 5 volt 1 ampere. It's designed in Hong Kong and made in China, and this is the website. Let's take a look at this side. Battery capacity, which is 74 watt hour. On this side right here, anything suspicious? Yeah, this right here. Rotor capacity. Most likely a typing error. So uh, let's just follow how what it says. Rotor capacity, the same. 12400 milliampere hour, 501 ampere. At the back are all the parameters of the power bank. You could pause and take a zoom on it. These are some QR codes that you can scan that lead you to some sort of website. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, you will want to see the power bank rather than its packaging, right? And so, here we go. And it's quite heavy, the manufacturer claimed 382 grams. But actually, when I measure the, the mass of the power bank, it's just 379 grams. So I'm not sure about the manufacturer, or maybe my weighing scale is wrong. Okay, if some of you want to ask me, how much is this power bank? Then I'm gonna say that I'm not exactly sure, because this was given to me for my birthday. So, for my best guess, I would say that the cost would be around $20 to $60, depending on which website you bought from, and whether the power bank itself is genuine. Now for this one, you can see there is a very shiny sticker, and it says Remax, and a QR code that you could scan and lead you to some sort of website that tells you how genuine is a power bank and the performance of the power bank. And so, without further ado, let's open it up. It's, wow, it's heavy, and it's just nothing, there's no USB cable. Um, and the instruction manual, which this is in Chinese, and the other side is in English, there are only two languages. Wrong side. Right, yeah, this is the correct side. Okay, so you can see that there is this three inputs and three outputs. And this one is very special. You can charge it with lightning. The lightning is the Apple power bank. I mean, sorry, the Apple phone, an iPad. They use lightning. This is the lightning example. And that's the USB Type C. You can see that both the lightning and the USB. Type C are symmetrical, which means it doesn't matter how you connect the uh, power uh, charger or phone. For micro USB Type B, this is only strictly in one direction because it's not symmetrical. Like this, input the this input, and ultimately the Type C input. Okay, you can see it's Type C input 5 volt 3 amp, which is 15 watts, 9 volt 2 amps, which is 18 watts, Type C output 15 watts, 18 watts, and 12 volt 1.5 amps. Okay, so this is a Samsung USB Type C to C, which is used to charge a phone that's rated for PD power. Yeah, Samsung, and it's a Type C output. And see, it shows a green color indicator, which tells you that this power bank is charging up the phone with a PD power. I don't have a current meter to measure the current, but I'm supposedly thinking it's quite high. I'm gonna charge it using this one right here. And because it's a very high capacity power bank, you won't expect this thing to rise up in an instant. Slide in, and you can see, it's charging, and one side flashes, the other side stays there. It'll take around uh, 6 to 10 hours to charge, depending. There's a very huge range. It's charging up, and it will take a while to charge. And that's the good thing about this power bank, it features a PD connect. And now, finally, the capacity thing. I use an iPhone 6S Plus, and the battery capacity of it is 2062.5 mAh. And the original is 
when the battery is 20%. This is power bank. And this one is phone. Delta percentage power bank equals to 56 minus 49, which is 7%. Delta percent phone equals to 82 minus 20, which is 62%. So, 62% of the battery capacity equals to 1278.75 So this the 62% iPhone battery percentage the capacity So if Okay so 1% of power bank equals to how much? Equals to 1278.75 divided by 7 because you know the delta change is 7% So you can see that each percent of the power bank gives you around 182.68 milliampere hour. Let's just say corrected to 2 dB. So to find the total capacity, we just multiply it by 100. And that's your battery capacity. And to cheer you up a bit, I'm gonna round it up to 18,300 milliampere hour. That is within the range of the, what's, where's the box ah, here? It's actually within the range of the 12,400 milliampere hour. So yeah, it's quite good. And that's the final capacity. Three significant figure. Plus or minus 10%. Why plus or minus 10%? Because the phone is not very good at recognizing the battery capacity. So you would expect a change of the capacity by 10 to 20%. Thanks for watching.